us. And when they found us, of course, they clicked us. So that's not rocket science. That's, you know, and the, what's the value? I don't need to highlight my ad for somebody who's looking for me in particular. So uh, I'm going to do that needless to say thing. <laughs> Needless to say, <laughs> and I'll say it, uh, we're, we're not going to be participating in the Google local sponsor day. It's only $25, and, you know, I, I think we could figure some other better, maybe Dancing Naked Chicks, we could throw spend away $25. $25 I probably wouldn't spend 25 bucks on that, though. <laughs> <laughs> probably not. But, you know, I think it's actually, I think the, the sponsored ads, I think it's a, um, I think there is some value in it. Um specifically what like i think there is some value in it um i can't say specifically what off the top of my head i find valuable in that but i do think that standing out on the first page um is that, going to be a good idea at some point maybe not today right now but i think there is some value in it i just don't think that the way that google is approaching it is the best way to do it right now i think it will be valuable at some point just maybe not right now yeah, and well, part of the value is we always kind of recognized in the yellow pages that, you know, a slightly different ad, however it was different, was, you know, had some advantage because it would stand out. And so having that little post-it and that little yellow highlight is going to stand out. Now, when all five or ten of them do it, because it's only $25, you know, eventually, you know What's what, I want to cancel my $25 because then I'm going to stand out. <laughs> so you got people adding and, and, and there's no contracts, so unlike the, the yellow pages. So you can actually, you know, month to month, you can turn it on and turn it off. And, uh, you know, you, you you may play with that. The point that the, the, um, the guy on the phone made is, look, you know your conversion rate now. You could actually just pay $25 and see the conversion rate. So my needless to say may be wrong because it might just be an interesting experiment that we'll do just for you guys. And um, in fact, we probably will do that. So we can and say, you know. if anyone else is listening, let us know. And, and, and as actually taking advantage of it, let us know how it worked out for you. Or if you're in Houston or San, San Jose. Jose. Yeah. Yeah. Let us know. Uh, you can send us an email at podcast at e-webstyle.com. I almost forgot. I got a little shout out. Hopefully he's watching. Uh, a shout out to David Welling. Uh, I met him last night at a concert. I went to a, a One World concert. I think that was the name of it. It was just amazing. All they they actually had uh, an uh, Eastern European dance uh, couple. They had flamenco dance. They had belly dancers. Uh, and it's a world group. And there was a. It was so. There was one scene. It's just amazing. Uh, I'll be brief. <laughs> The guy who's playing guitar is an incredibly talented guitarist, and he's playing with a, an Indian guy on the tabla, which is the, the, the small little drums where you sit Indian style, okay. and he looks kind of like a, he looked kind of like a Pakistani Buddha playing these things. And they only move their fingers and make these loud noises, and it's um, rhythmic, nice noises, not just noises, <laughs> loud music. I don't just know. Noise. <laughs> it's just noise. It's just noise. The concert was amazing, and uh, David was sitting next to me. I started talking to him, so. Uh, he's actually a graphic designer, so hopefully he's listening in. David, if you are, great. Uh, and also, uh, hopefully he'll come and see my show uh, tomorrow night. I'm actually performing improv here in Houston tomorrow night. Um, the next subject that we have, we're doing, oh, we gotta, we'll have to blow through this one. Um, so this, this, this example is two things. One, how we work here at eWebStyle, because this, this is a great story of how we do it. And two, uh, the value of keywords and the value of um, having a company that knows what they're doing uh, helping you in in your SEO. So here it is. I'm talking to, uh, it's actually a friend of mine who owns a window treatment business, shades and blinds and everything. And I'm, you know, he came over and we're talking about his website, what he needs to do with his website. And, I, and we're talking from the perspective, if you're going to do SEO, um, you know, here are the things that we need to do. About halfway through the meeting, Paul walked, walks in, unprompted. So this is this is amazing teamwork that we have here at eWebStyle, and hands me this page. Um, and this page really changed the whole meeting that I had with them. So I, I, I probably didn't thank you enough for that. That's awesome. <laughs> um, and the reason it changed the meeting, I don't know if you had a chance to glance at this or look at this. And you want to talk, or you want me to just? Uh, go ahead. Knock okay. Some, uh... So what was pretty interesting was um, you, you can imagine the terms related to Houston. I'm are... still trying to remember, like, when was this? <laughs> <laughs> like, when did I do this? <laughs> <sighs> when was that? <laughs> 
<laughs> Let me pat myself on the back and try and remember when it was. Um, it was with, you remember Juan Paredes, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The window treatments. The re- <laughs> so, um, you know, the things that, the keywords that would obviously show up here are going to be blinds, Houston, shades, Houston, uh, window film, Houston, solar screens, Houston. And the number one search volume is Shade Houston. Not Shades Houston, because you actually install Shades, but people start by searching for Shade Houston. And and I made the point to Juan right away, this is a really kind of interesting analysis. If it were Blind Houston, potentially Blind Houston is looking for other services, maybe services for the blind or blind blind organizations in the Houston area. Um, but, uh, But Shade Houston, Unless it's maybe Shade Tree, can you think of any? I can't really even think of anything. They they're just lazy people who aren't typing the S <laughs> and Houston. So that's the number one search volume term. Interestingly enough, because Google their keyword analysis tool tells you what the competition level is for it, and it's zero. So no one in Houston is paper clicking or optimizing for Shade Houston. But it's the number one search term. So this wow. changed the conversation with it. It's in, it's interesting, right? Why? Well, I can guarantee you, somebody is going to be advertising <laughs> and paper clicking that soon. Um, but it's the it's the number one reason where you really need to know how to use these tools, when to use these tools, and and again, this comes back. We talk about you know real estate is location, location, location. SEO is keyword, keyword, keyword. And you know, here's a great, great thing where I'm able to tell a client, and he's actually considering using. He's hired a consultant to do some uh, business plan for him, and and that particular consultant has contacts and can get a website done for him. And I'm saying, you know, you can get a website, but then you still got to come back to us, and we've got to clean up whatever they've done for SEO. You should just start with us, and and let us, you know, take care of your website, mm-hmm. do it properly, and then focus. And one of the things that we're gonna do that they would never know to do is have a page or at least content related specifically to Shade Houston. And if you don't do that analysis up front, then you're you know you're swimming up a stream with no paddle. No, there's no swimming <laughs> with the paddle. I don't know. You're doing something wrong, and uh, and you should call us. <laughs> um, let's see. Do we have anything else here? I mentioned David. Um, yeah. So. That's actually our podcast for today. It looks like uh, we're actually we're right on time. That's pretty good. So uh, again, you are listening to the most popular SEO podcast on iTunes. Um, I didn't tell you this on Podomatic. Two days ago, we were above Mr. SEO. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't see it. So uh, just so you know what we're talking about, our, our our actual podcast. That's the audio portion of this is actually hosted on a website called podomatic.com and you could do us a very small favor by going there uh, creating account and becoming a fan and watching us and following us on that mister SEO is kind of uh, it's the first it's the reason we're doing this podcast a lots of accolades to him he does did a great job mm-hmm. he hasn't posted a, a, a podcast in two Some and year? a half years yeah. so, something like that for a very long time um, which is part of the reason we say we're the most popular SEO podcast because we're continually producing podcasts he no longer is. On Podomatic, because of his history and because he's one of the first podcasts, he was actually ranked above us uh, in terms of popularity. So I know that sounds counter. He hasn't put out one in like two years. Yesterday I looked and um, he had moved up one and we had moved down one, which means we were in position one and he was in position two. Uh, and so that's we're pretty excited about that. That's very cool. Um, Take you know, that. it's yeah. Sucker. Boom, <laughs> boom, Mister Bellestrino. <laughs> He's got a jingle, and it's catchy and it's uh, annoying. Annoying. Uh, <laughs> but good stuff though. I'll definitely uh, give him his respect. Very good stuff on uh, search engine optimization. Yeah. So um, now what we're saying is ours is better, right? There's more. Yeah. We've got a lot more content. We're producing fresh content. Uh, he's not talking about Google. Lo- none of his podcasts talk about Google local sponsored ads. I can promise you that because it didn't exist. It didn't exist. <laughs> so basically we're saying we're the bomb. We're the bomb. Yeah. yeah. 
We are the uh, most popular SEO podcast on iTunes. Please send us an email. Please follow us. Again, the people will go out, go to iTunes, create an account, and submit a review about us. We really appreciate that. If you're getting any information out of this, do do whatever you can. Something you'll know, spend like five minutes or something, and and give us a shout out somewhere. Post us on a blog. Give a link to us. You know, just help us out. Help us spread the word. Um, we're internationally known, and we're giving back as much as we can. And uh, hopefully, you guys are enjoying it uh, and learning from it. Um, that is the end of podcast number 54. Uh, this is the most popular SEO podcast on iTunes. Uh, until the next podcast, my name is Chris Burris. And this is Paul Hansen. Bye-bye for now.